A warm welcome to the newsroom. I am Pidalia Aguncha. Governor Yahaya Bello of Kogi State has dissolved his cabinet set up in 2015. The governor at a valedictory service organized for the outgoing members thanks them for their service and charged them to advise the government whenever the need arises. Bello, at the end of the valedictory service, named a new cabinet where he retained some persons from the dissolved board. The National Assembly has adjourned plenary to honor Senator Ben Owajumogu, who died on Wednesday morning in Abuja. A minute of silence and prayers were held for him in both chambers of the National Assembly during plenary today. Plenary was thereafter adjourned to Friday, December 20th, which will be the last sitting for the year. Vice President Yemi Oshibajo has presided over the meeting of the National Economic Council held at the State House in Abuja. This gathering is expected to be the last NEC meeting for 2019. The NEC meeting is a forum where the nation's economic planning efforts and programs of various levels of government are reviewed. The federal government on Thursday declared December 25 and 26 as public holidays. In a statement from the Ministry of Interior, January 1, 2020 was also designated as a public holiday. The public holidays are for the Christmas and New Year celebration. The Federation Accounts Allocation Committee, FAC, has allocated the sum of 635.82 billion naira to the three tiers of government as revenue for the month of November. The allocation represents a decrease of 66.23 billion naira when compared to the 702.05 billion naira which the committee shared in October. Former Algerian Prime Minister Abdel Majid Tabun has been sworn in as the new president of the country just a week after winning a widely boycotted election. He succeeds veteran President Abdelaziz Bouteflika, who was forced from office in April in the face of mass demonstrations. Tabun must now address the grievances of protesters who have remained on the streets to prevent what they see as a ploy by the political elites to retain its hold on power. The Super Eagles of Nigeria have ended the year with the highest, their highest world ranking in the last decade. According to data released by football governing by the FIFA, the Eagles ended the year in the 31st position. However, with a total of 1,493 points, the Super Eagles remain third in Africa behind Senegal and Tunisia. And that's the latest from the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. Bye for now.